Let's get to our top local story now. Ag Valley Air Concerns, a study showing tonight a pesticide illegal in California has been detected in the air. Thanks for joining us here at 10. I'm Tony Lopez and I'm Marley Ginter. Hunter Sowers is getting answers for us on what researchers hope is done to protect people. Hunter. Yeah, pretty eye opening here, guys. The banned chemical found even just trace amounts can cause birth defects if exposed to women who are pregnant. Experts know this because it's a chemical that's been studied so closely. Other chemicals haven't had the same attention and researchers worry that lack of information could have serious health impacts. In one of the most agriculturally rich regions in the nation. We don't fully know how much risk we are putting on individuals. Millions of pounds of pesticides are sprayed each day. UC Davis researchers used this backpack to test how they're affecting air quality in the Central Valley. We were pulling air in right in their breathing zone, so basically the same air that they were breathing. These tubes taking in air and data from 31 adults and 11 kids over a 92 day period. They found 22% of adults and one child were exposed to at least one pesticide, including a chemical banned in California. We were very surprised when we measured the chlorpyrifos because it is banned. There's numerous studies showing that at low levels when pregnant women are exposed to that compound during their pregnancy, it impacts the neurodevelopment of their kids. We took the findings to the Department of Pesticide Regulation. It's really useful information for us. Their chief deputy director says they've been in contact with UC Davis about the study. And based on that preliminary review, we're finding that the detection levels are well below health screening levels. Regardless, they'll use the data for future outreach and research, and that's exactly what the study's author was hoping for. There's really very little information that's required when pesticides are registered with the U.S. EPA. Because without research, there's no way to tell how harmful the chemicals are to some of the most vulnerable. A lot of these households have low income, so they might not have the best diets. So it's just all of this, these insults and then add the pesticides on top of it, and your body can really only take so much. Now, there is hope. New rules starting in the next year will require farmers to notify nearby homes and schools on the day that they're going to be spraying those pesticides, hopefully allowing people to limit their exposure there. Well, wow, Hunter, such a surprise and really alarming. This is a banned chemical that we're talking about known to cause problems. Do they have any idea of where it's coming from? It is alarming, and that was our first question, mm -hmm. is how do you trace and find maybe if there's a farm nearby that's been using this without permission? And they said that that's actually not probably what's happening. This was banned in 2020 in California, not nationwide. It's used for things like flea and tick mm. uh, prevention. And it could be that somebody has a product in their home mm. that they used before it was banned that they're still using without even realizing it. Wow. So that's what they said. Experts really stress, read the label, know the facts and protect yourself because it could be as simple as something sitting in your home. Yeah.